Silly Cinem Nova Drift, and trying yet another recording setup. This one is a little higher quality in video and maybe audio. I keep tinkering with the with the settings and trying to get them all lined up. Sadly, my internet connection is not very fast, so the higher quality ones are a little bit difficult. I can go with temporal. Are a little difficult to manage. Do I want an engineer? Hmm. Or do I want something different? If so, what? I don't like the redu reduction in shields here, and it's a low hull. But I am tempted to try this. I have no idea if it's a good idea. It probably is not. But I am tempted to try and see. How well we can make this work. <laughs> Twin strike not exactly what we're hoping for here. I'll take a magnitude however. Pretty effective, pretty effective. There's the interceptor, or the ally, where we are going to look for an interceptor. Elegant construction is also perfectly fine. Why do you keep giving me the uh, <laughs> twin strike? Not the most useful with Lance. Now Lance does get its blast radius impact from char- uh, the blast radius impacts charging. So let's give this a go and see how it works. Today's been a long day, but we're almost at the end of the semester. We're close to it. We're getting there. Next week will be our finals testing, so hopefully we can get that behind us and do something else quickly. Of course, even then, it's still going to take almost a week, so... Quickly may not be the... best way to phrase it. I thought he was going to drop his mines there, and then I would have died. From running into three mine explosions. So, glad that did not happen. Hmm, I do want self-destruct, I believe, but I think I want rupture even more. Uh, priority zero is also fine, but again, I was hoping for things that will help us down the interceptor path. Overclock again is fine, but not something for the interceptor. Not yet, at least. Evasion is not going to be useful for us with the Interceptor if we go Wingman, which I do want to do. do I want Polar Inversion. Pulls the enemies in toward us. I think I just take the Shielded Construct here. Could be dangerous since I don't have a lot of armor. But maybe we can survive it. There's the hull strength. 
All right, we'll take the hull strength for now. We'll be giving up some of that hull strength with support specialists, but for now. A little early for Overseer. I will go ahead and take support specialists though. Where are you, Omega? There you are. Not quite as good as Pulse is in clearing those out, but it's still pretty decent. Pretty decent. Slow shield, maybe keeping some of these projectiles around a little too long. Again, no. I guess we're looking for nanotech regeneration. If we don't take the evasion, that's all that's left to us after all. Maybe time just to start spinning rerolls. Allergies are still a little bit there, but they're better today. It's been a rainy day here, so hopefully they will continue to improve. I think velocity only affects the sparks. I don't know about the weapon damage. Rate of fire could be useful as well. Let's spend a reroll here. All of these could be useful, but again, not quite what we're hoping for. Apex machinery is not what we're used to seeking here, but... I'll have to do for now, because I need some way of helping deal more damage. And it does increase the shield effect power, so... We'll dig our way through it slowly. Again, I cannot take Overseer just yet. Again, I want these, but not yet. Again, not the one we want. Hmm. There we go, finally. Now take Reconstruction. Now we look for Evolution, and then the Interceptor Path. Will we get there? I do not know. The temporal shield slowing things down a little too much there again. <laughs> I do, I do enjoy orbs, I really do, but it's not what we need here. Again, not what we're hoping for. Uh, definitely not. No. Still no. Well, you just. Don't want me to have it, do you? Absorption, I guess we can take. Rather annoyed at spinning so many rerolls and not getting what we wanted, but... We'll see. Maybe we'll get it eventually. This is the kind of thing that makes me not want to use rerolls. 
<laughs> but sometimes that just is the luck of the draw. I'll take the payload hoping for charge shot eventually. Allies, why don't you go handle those? Mine's over here for me. A lot of enemies. Okay, got rid of the shield at least. Not happy that all my allies have died. Not pleased with that at all. I could have a shield if I had an ally here to protect me with it. There we are. Oh, singularity, lovely. Just what we want to see. Try not to overcompensate here. That would be bad. There's ally specialization. Improves their hull, passive attack avoidance, gives them more projectiles and makes them faster to assemble. Helps make up a bit for the apex machinery. Better be a little more careful with that enemy. Sometimes aggression pays off, sometimes it is a very bad idea. Temporal shields helping us out a little here. Again, no evolution and no interceptor, huh? Force armor could be useful. So we'll take it. Yet another one of these enemies. Yet another comet killing me. How very unfortunate. And Scion. But we finally get evolution. Gives us more hull and rate of fire for our allies per each of our levels. And gives them one more projectile and it will unlock the specialization trees. For which we will get the interceptor. Unfortunately, the slow effect does not really slow down the, the lance as much. All right, I'm out of here. A lot of enemies this time around. There's a convoy, at least. Again, self-destruct, not exactly what I'm hoping for here, but I'll take it. Hmm. Well, we have, we have both specializations here. Finally, we can get this interceptor going. Very happy to see that.
another scion, eh? We should be better prepared to attack you this time. Much faster. Now do I take Overseer? Yeah, we'll give it a try. Now we have three, not four unlike the old days, sad to say, but now we have three interceptors. Just for the small price of me never firing my weapon again. I'm sure it'll work out fine. Uh, run away, run away. Didn't get much from that convoy, unfortunately. Comet went the wrong way. Should have gone for the lower ones and not the higher ones. They were already dead. Pretty much dead. Not horribly impressed by these. Stabilization could be fine. I guess burst fire could be useful. I'll take a burst fire. Try not to just stand in the middle of a beam of death. Not good for one's health. Or so I've been told. Just run right into that enemy. I'm trying to figure out a better way. I guess I should just make a spreadsheet where I keep track of everything I try and what I would want to try and just start pulling from a list. I feel like I'm getting to the point where I've tried many different variations and I need to... Part of me feels a need to organize things a bit better now. Have a memory of what works, what doesn't work, all that fun stuff. Ah, wingman. Only problem with our interceptors like this is that they stop firing if an enemy is not on screen, and we really, really, really would love for them to keep firing no matter what. I'd really love that. Oops, about to die for no good reason. Less than welcome a change. Let my interceptors eat a little bit of this damage. They self-regenerate too, after all. They can take a few hits. And I gave them that specialization precisely so they could take a few hits. There's overpower. That should make our lance slightly larger, as should this charge shot. Pretty good, pretty good. Going to have some long-term survivability issues, but we're just here to have fun and try it out, aren't we? I don't know how this affects the lance size. 
think I'll just take the armor. Just take the armor. Uh, do I even want Rancor? Gives me a little plating. A little extra weapon damage. It does slow us down a bit, but... We're not exactly running around rapidly. Anyway. There we go. Let's line up two of you. I don't want drones. I'll take channeling. Yeah, I'll take the channeling. Oh, come back here. Don't need the mines. Do I just want to take the Quam Decoherence? Eh, sure, why not? Why not? Take some double taps, sure. Force shielding, yeah, that's fine. Shield effect radius, also good. Do I want radiant shields? Eh, sure, why not? Maneuver does nothing. Shield cooldown's good. Weaponized shield's good. Regeneration, good. Let's get the weaponized shields going. We're getting fairly close to our enemies no matter what. So weaponized shields provides a little extra damage. Champion Celestial. We're honored. And also a little scared. Alright, we're going to get through this level fairly quickly, it seems. We do a lot of damage as long as we can actually focus on the enemy. It's going to be th waves like this that really provide the challenge, though. I don't know how the projectile size and projectile velocity interact with the lance. Should we get stabilization? Agility actually could be useful here. Efficiency also is good for healing. Let's take an efficiency. Wave 100. There you are, Seraph. See how you like being in the blender. That might be my episode title, Blender. After he gads, we're coming up on 200-ish episodes. Yeah. <laughs> it's difficult for me to remember exactly what my titles have been sometimes. One of those things you don't really appreciate sometimes is someone who just watches YouTube videos. Now sometimes you have to actually come up with a title and that sort of thing. It does make for some considerations. I well, want focus shields. Larger shield effect power is not unwarranted here. It does shrink our shields a bit, but Further slowing down projectiles sounds very useful, very, very useful.
Uh, I do well, enjoy watching things slow down so much with these temporal shields. Pretty good, pretty good. Again, our maneuver does nothing. Jedi Prokai, I guess, is something. I'm tempted to just take the cooldown effect here, truth be told. Don't know if I want blast shielding, but volatile shields could be useful. Don't think I want discharge, though. The shield cooldown of itself is fine. That's just a positive for us right now. Adding up some burn damage to that enemy. Could do with a candescence, I suppose, for that very reason. As usual with Engineer, we have a very glass cannon build. We can put out a fair amount of damage, but it's going to be a very quick death in all likelihood. So far, we're making it work though. I'm just going to spin here for a bit, don't you worry. Don't think we need a warp strike with this particular build. Uh, spontaneous generation is fine, regeneration is good, shield durability is good, but I did mention candescence. I think I'll try candescence. Just put out a little extra burn damage. which will add up over time. Ah. Uh -huh. I was worried for a second there. Whenever the lances stop firing, I... I always am concerned how long it'll take them to reach their full strength again, but so far we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Alright, kill these quickly we hope. There we go. Rupture should help us do a fair amount of damage here, but it's not always. Thank you for helping out, Comet. Alright. Outmaneuver does nothing. Corrosion. Corrosion helps with crowd control. Volatile shields also could be useful. I think the corrosion is more useful. It does reduce our weapon damage a bit, but it does spread that damage of near to nearby enemies when a uh, target dies. And with the extra burn damage, I think that's a net positive for us. Yep, still holding up fairly well. One day I'm going to rely on those temporal shields and they're going to die at the very last moment we need them to. And that will be a sad day indeed. I'll just hang out on one half of the map and shoot you from the other. Or miraculously have my allies shoot you from the other. Lots of enemies here. Ah, uh, what do we want from this? Not horribly impressed by them. I do 
I'll have to see what Polar Inversion does, I suppose. Is it worthwhile? It does make our lances larger. But it might also pull the enemy into us. In fact, I'm fairly certain it does. Still, I suppose as long as we do enough damage, it's not a big issue. Yeah, we're definitely pulling the enemy toward us. <laughs> well, at least we can kill enemies fairly quickly nonetheless. You got between me and the Interceptor and did not take anywhere near as much damage as I thought you were. On one hand, I applaud you for your cleverness. On the other hand, don't ever do it again. does bravado even give us? Not too much, really. Faster assembly speed. Don't think that's really worthwhile. Do I want conversion? Improved thrusters? Purification? More burn damage? A lot less weapon damage. I don't know if that's a good trade for us. Velocity does some small weapon damage. Going down to incendiary strike would be nice, but... Can we get there? Roof thrusters does make up for da, 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 overseer and support specialist for that matter. No, it's not support specialist. What's the other one that reduces rancor? Let's just take the velocity. Haven't seen mastery yet. That would be nice. It would be a good addition to our current setup. Sometimes I wish we had taken turrets too. I feel like... I can easily get overwhelmed, like in this situation where I have enemies from different sides. We can handle them now, but as the enemy health scales higher and higher, that's not going to be an option. Just have to see what we can get working here. Thank you for the help comment. And the pop more she popcorn machine goes pop, 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 and we are done with them. The rupture really does help a great deal with those enemies. Shield durability is fine. Stabilization is okay. Mostly to go down towards agility. I think I just want the snipe though. Projectile velocity, I think, only affects the sparks, not the lance. I think maybe even incendiary strike does as well. Hmm. Maybe I do want something else. Get the stabilization. Help us move around a little faster and slow down too if we need to. If, if, if. Got a little too close to that enemy. Eh. 
and pop, 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 he goes. Ah, Scion. With friends. Yeah, we're, we definitely pull the enemy into us with the polar inversion. A less than helpful situation, but at least I'm not the one firing the weapon, so it does pull in to the interceptors and then it stops. It doesn't keep pulling them into my vessel itself. So that is some benefit. Ah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Nice when the enemies just neatly line up for you to shoot down. And yet more of the same. Another Scion, eh? Just gonna keep pulling you back into me. <laughs> Simple and easy. Anything good for us, Convoy? Eh, some experience points. Nothing horribly impressive, but it's something. And say you should die fairly quickly, as should you. Singularity, here to eat my experience points. Huh, rebuke, I guess, is something. Juggernaut could also be useful, but not right now. <laughs> Not with a singularity in the area. Could just take the Scorching Wake. I do move around a fair bit. And I already do have things to help fire damage. Alright, we'll try it out. And you've just gone into the singularity, really. You just had to fire your weapon, leaving a navigational hazard for everyone else. Rather rude. Oops, Celestials, annoying. Oh, don't watch it being pulled into the or pulling the enemy towards me, so I get caught on their engine trail. Less than ideal. Still, we're handling these enemies fairly well. But we're definitely feeling the... We're definitely feeling the level scaling coming into play. We're not killing quite as quickly as we used to. Even with all the mods we've taken. Not really falling completely behind yet, but we're definitely slowing down. Relative to the enemy. enemy rate of fire is also increasing. Which is somewhat worrisome. And Seraph. Wave 200.
Oh, no, don't. Ah, that was stupid planning on my part. Ah, as was that. Ah, well, we did decent damage. Hmm. What could I have done better? Other than better piloting, I'm not sure corrosion was all that useful. After we are hit rupture. On the other hand, maybe I should have doubled down on it. Get purification. Questions, questions, questions. Anyway, that was a pretty fun one. I always enjoy things that are a little quirky, and that does meet the criteria. As ever, thank you all for stopping by.